Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're wondering why I look a little bit scary right now, I am actually doing a foundation review. So I already have that done, my concealer and my powder. So I um, figured why not just jump on here and continue the process. So I have decided we're going to do like some new drugstore try on. I got a few products, you know, from the drugstore that I wanted to try. So here we are. We're going to do a drugstore or what's new at the drugstore or however you want to put it. I don't know what I'm going to name this one yet, but we are going to try out some new products. Um, I don't have any new bronzers or anything, but um, I do have a new eyebrow pencil. So I'm just going to go in with my um, Sun Club. Bronzer, rounds up the face a little bit. Okay. Working better. Going in with my Wet n Wild um, contour. With the Physicians Formula Butter Blush. Oh, so good. And this is in Natural Glow. We're just going to put a natural glow on the skin here. You can build it up too for whatever you like. Of course, Mario. Love it. And it just smells so good. I'm not like a rose type person. I know they have another one, but. They just came out with a newer one, which is like a lavender, which I want to go grab or at least smell. So maybe I can change up the scent a little bit. Um, after I do that, I just pat it in just so there is no um, like little wet dots or spray dots or anything that on my face. Um, so that is that. So the, for one of the newer products that I have, it is the Total Temptation. This is 305 Soft Brown. It's a brow definer. You guys know that I really, really, really love my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Brush. Um, so we're going to see if we can find another drugstore fave. It does come with like a baby spoolie on the end here. And then this is... Kind of like a diamond shape. I don't know if you can see. Very thin. So we'll see how this works. And if I go out of the camera, I am sorry. It's just I have to try to focus. Here we go. Now off the bat, it seems very like creamy. Like it's not tugging. Like a creamier formula here, which is good because even some of the higher end ones are dry, and I feel like you have to tug at your brow. But this one seems pretty, pretty good. I'm just filling that in, going up, and then make sure you come through. I just did that in like literally maybe under a minute. This is really nice. I don't know. I am pretty impressed. Pretty impressed by that Maybelline. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and set it down with the gel that I have. Okay, so, so excited that I have a new Master Crow. This is in Molten Rose Gold. So we haven't highlighted yet. 
So I'm very excited to try. This is what it looks like. It's like a pinky, rosy. Let's do a little swatch. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. So, let's just get started. Hopefully, it's as pretty and not as glittery. Oh. You guys, that is really nice. Take it in the squish shape a little bit. And then I'm going to just diffuse the edges. Wow. There. That is pretty. And it does give you like a little subtle pinkish rosy color. Very nice. Very pretty. That is a good one. So, yes to yes to yes to that. I really like that. Okay, as far as eyeshadows, I don't have any new ones, but I'm just going to go in with one fresco, this purpley color here in the crease. Tempura right up on the brow. I like that a little bit. Okay. So then with just those two colors right there for now, I am going to go in. This is from Makeup Geek. It is the Halo color, and it's like a loose glitter. So what I'm going to do is take my NYX glitter glue, and we are going to go in on a flat shader brush, grab some of that, just place it where I want the glitter. Then, go in with the glitter and just pack it on. Where you put the glue. That is such a pretty, like, lilac y color. I like that. And then I'm going to wipe my brush off a little bit and go in on the other side, and then we'll end up doing the outer corner a different color. So this is how the look is coming along. And I'm going to just jump back into that palette, and we are just going to go in with, I think we're going to take that and that as a mixture right out in the outer corner right here. And, oof. Just tap it and blend it. And just go back in and you can take it into the crease a little bit if you like. This is a fairly cleaner brush, so. Okay, and I'm just going to wrap that around underneath just a little bit, just because I feel like my under eye is like bare. I don't know, I feel weird. Oh, 
Okay. So then on the inner corner, I'm just going to go in with Vermeer. Okay, here underneath. In the corner, just to add some light. With a really nice inner corner highlight, too. So, make everything brighter. If you feel like it's not blended out enough for you guys, you keep going in until you are satisfied, but I'm just going to go in with some liner. Um, I'm not doing false lashes today, but I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a new mascara to try, and this is the Total Temptation Maybelline. It says full of fluffy lashes, um, so to make them big and voluminous. I like to prime my eyes though so I can see the difference that it makes because I normally use this so I'm just going to keep on with using it. So I'm going to show you one eye at a time. That is the wand. Oof. So that is a lash with one coat. Hopefully you can see the difference. And then I will go in and I'll do another coat. Okay, you guys, so this is the one coat for the lashes. Um, I mean, as of right now, it looks great. I'm going to go in with another um, coat. I do use the primer just because I know how it works with my lashes. Um, so I don't know if I would like this without the primer, just because with it, it I get better results, I guess, from other um, mascaras. And the one I'm seeing right now is the It Cosmetics one. So I know it's a little bit higher brand than this one, but this is pretty good for drugstore. So I'm going to go in with one more coat. Okay guys, so in my opinion, this does perform well with a primer and two coats. Um, I like it a lot more with the two coats than I did with just the one. So I'm going to go ahead and put my new powder. This is, I've tried it like two other times, but this is fairly new. It is not drugstore. So I'm going to go in and how I use this is that I just take my damp beauty blender, sponge, whatever you have, take it and dip it in and just pat off a little bit and go in and push it through the skin and it just adds that extra glow that us wavier girls can't get unless we're like really wailing. But it's not like a pretty glow. This is gorgeous. Let's see. This is like one of my favorite powders as of right now. It just melts right into the skin when you use it with this. Pressing it. See, you can see the glow. I mean, you can see my highlight, but you can see the glow through here, through here. It just adds such a pretty sheen of doing this without having the oil. Okay, so I just pulled my hair down. Um, I did add some eyeliner to the lower lash line. I've just been liking how that has been looking lately. So in with the last product, I have three of them to choose from. 
So I have the new color from, this is called Fighter, the Maybelline, um, what is this, Superstay Matte Ink. So I have CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. This is in Current Nude. And then I have a lipstick that is Maybelline, which is daringly nude. So I'm just going to swatch them. I think obviously this one's going to be a little bit too. This one's going to be a little bit too dark, but I'm going to swatch it with any. Anywho, well, going in with that one, I'll do a neuter color, but that is pretty. Thank you. So it's kind of like a burnt brown color, and I don't have any color like this. So this is out of my cover zone, but we will try. We will try, people. We will try. Going into CoverGirl Melting Pout in currently nude. Either this one or the next one. We'll try that. That's right next to it. That one might work if this looks better. And this one I have not tried yet, so that is a new one, and also this one. That's a pretty new one. That is a pretty, pretty pinky nude. I think I'm going to go in with the middle color, though, the CoverGirl one, because I have tried, I have a couple colors in this, but I have never tried this. So I think that is what we're going to do, and we're going to go in with that. Right off the bat, I don't feel like a lot comes out on the applicator, so... It's very silky, so we will see what it looks like when it dries down. I think it actually matches pretty good with the eye look that I did nice and quick, so... I'm going to wait a few minutes to see how this dries down. I mean, it seems to be drying down really, really good. And it's not like sticky. It's just creamy. Um, you can kind of tell there's something on your lip, but not really. So this might be a good one. We'll see how long it lasts throughout the day, too, because sometimes they just, like, flake right off. So... We will definitely see, but this is how the look came out with the new drugstore products that I had picked up. So make sure you guys subscribe down to my channel and click the notification bell to get all the notifications when I upload any videos. Um, and thank you for supporting me. I have grown in my um, subscriptions by like 75 people this week, and it you cannot believe how much that makes me happy. So I appreciate everybody that has supported me and continues to support me. So I hope you like this final look and we will see you next time.